From protests to support for the Black Lives Matter movement, the focus around the nation has turned to race relations. People are looking at the role race plays in this country. Companies are looking internally. We've seen since um, George Floyd was murdered, um, our requests for services triple. Anthony Newman is a consultant for Baltimore Racial Justice Action. He says people have been in a hurry to sign up. People have the urgency and are looking for a direction to go into and what's the next step. We've been telling people that the window of opportunity is um, not as small as they think, um, that the windows of opportunity and the doors of opportunity have been open because racism and white supremacy has been alive for a long time. BRJA provides a variety of racial justice services for individuals and organizations. Dottie Burt Markowitz helped found the organization in 2003. She says their focus is teaching anti-racism. We ask for an agreement uh, of a contract of at least a year, sometimes two or three years, where the training is followed up uh, with deeper in assessment of the organization, consultation, particularly with leadership, sometimes individual coaching. John Nethercutt is the executive director of the Public Justice Center, an advocacy organization providing legal services to low-income people on a number of issues. We're a white-led and predominantly white organization, and even though we've been in this work for a long time, um, I'd say back around 2013, 14, I and others in the organization became aware that we really need to understand more about racism. Nethercutt says they have been working with BRJA ever since, and the events of the day make it even more important. If an organization is going to get into a race equity analysis, first of all, it should be led by the leadership, um, particularly the top leadership. If top leadership is not behind it, Everybody in the organization is going to be scared and they're not going to open up and that's not a good space to have this kind of discussion. BRJA holds free workshops on race on the 13th of every month. This time it will focus on defunding police and what that means. In Mount Washington, Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News.